What's up guys, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Leonardo and Donatello from Bandai. And I've already done a quick review on Donatello but it was just a fast one from a hotel room so I wanted to do another one that was more thorough and focused on uh, Leonardo. And if you'd like to see that I'll leave a link in the description below. But let's take a quick look at the packaging. It's very similar to a lot of other Figure Arts packaging. Up here at the top it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then you got a shot of Leo, some other information, the Tamashii Nations logo and the Bandai logo, and you got a cool like brick sewer background graphic that looks pretty nice. And on the side you have some more brick graphics and it says Leonardo and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And on the back you get a shot of the figure, and it has a couple cool poses and some information about the figure and shows his accessories and it shows the other figures. And uh, you also have some more brick graphic here on the back. That's very cool that it wrapped all the way around like that. And here's a look at Donatello in his package. And here's a quick look at the back of it. It's all pretty much the same as Leonardo. And uh, yeah, this packaging is very cool. I like the fact that you could open it up and put the figure back in if you want. It's very collector friendly and all that cool stuff. So I like it. So let's take a look at his articulation. His head can go side to side. And it could tilt around a pretty good amount. It could go up about that far. And it could come down a really nice amount. Because his neck has uh, two joints, one at the head and then one at the torso. And as for his chest articulation, uh, you got this shell right here, but it's soft so you can move it around. So that doesn't really get in the way, but it seems like the articulation in his chest just doesn't move that much. You could tilt to the side a pretty good amount. Both ways, but you can't really crunch it at all. But I guess uh, you can't really expect to crunch it with the shell and everything. So it goes back about that much. And for his arms, they're on uh, ball jointed shoulders. So they come out to the side. And they could come all the way around. Then he has the butterfly joint at the shoulder. So it could go forward and back a pretty nice amount. You're able to get him into all kinds of cool poses because of that. And then he has the upper bicep swivel, but it is kind of hard to move around. You got to kind of hold a shoulder joint, but yeah, it definitely moves. Then he has the double jointed elbows. He has a ball joint at his wrist, so it could swivel and hinge. And for his legs, let's see. For his legs, they could come out to the side a pretty nice amount. And they could come forward a pretty good amount. Again, the shell is pretty soft, so it doesn't really get in the way here. But it comes forward about that much. And it does uh, swivel. Right here, but it, it swivels at the joint that goes into the torso. It doesn't really swivel at the upper thigh joint. But either way, you could get swivel out of it. Then he has double jointed knees. And then he has uh, ankles that are on a ball joint so they could rock back and forth. And they could tilt up and down a pretty nice amount. And they could go side to side. And then he has articulated toes. So like all figure arts figures, he comes with a lot of nice, uh, useful articulation. And the articulation obviously is the same on Donatello, so we're not going to look at that. And for their accessories, they both come with a set of fists. A set of gripping hands, a set of open hands, and another set of hands that they could use to hold their weapons. And they both come with two heads. Leonardo has a very serious face, and then a super mad face, and Donatello also has a serious face, and then a really goofy face. And then Donatello comes with his bow staff that he holds really, really good. And Leonardo comes with his two swords that he could also hold really good. And then Donatello comes with this piece of pizza. And Leonardo comes with this uh, manhole cover that he could hold with the generic gripping hand. And they both come with this accessory that uh, holds their weapons. And, uh, yeah, both of them are different obviously for each of their weapons. And the way that works is that there's a piece on the back of the turtle that you're able to just pop off but it's really hard to get it off always have a tough time oh, that one came out kind of easy 
but uh, yeah, it's usually kind of tough to get it out of there. And then all you have to do is plug in this piece here. And this one doesn't sit in there as tight as the, the other piece. But uh, yeah, it definitely goes in there. So that's pretty cool. And then the weapon slide right in. And Donatello's works exactly the same. It's not any easier at all. This is a cool little way to, to make the, you know, the holsters for the weapons. But I really wish that they, they came off a little bit easier. Because it's really tough to do. I always think that I'm going to scratch the paint or something like that. You can see here, this one's a little harder than what Leo's was. But yeah, it comes off and then, you know, same thing. You just plug this one right in here. And then here's a closer look at the manhole cover. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is all sculpted. It's not just painted. So that's very nice. I like the fact that they just sculpted it instead of painting it. And here's a closer look at Leo's weapons. These aren't metal or anything like that. But they do look very nice. They're nice and sturdy. They don't feel like they're going to snap or warp or anything like that. And here's a closer look at Donatello's piece of pizza. And it looks pretty good. It's not sculpted with any crazy amount of detail or anything like that. But maybe they did that on purpose so it has like the animated look. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't give him like some kind of weird gadget or something. But it's pretty cool. And then you got his bow staff. That's cool too. But there's no kind of paint on it or anything like that. But it still looks very cool. And for some size comparisons, here's Donnie next to Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Wolverine. And I think he's perfect scale for a 6 inch figure. I like the fact that he's just about the same size as Wolverine. And here's Leo next to Mezco Batman and Mezco Hellboy. You can see he's way smaller than those, than those guys. And uh, yeah, I think the scale is pretty perfect for these. And here's Donnie next to Marvel Legends Deadpool and DC Icons Flash. And uh, they're even smaller than the Icons figures, so that's pretty cool. And here they are next to the Walmart exclusive uh, Ninja Turtles Classics figures. And uh, they, they come up just above their shoulders there. And here's Leo again with this Classics counterpart. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of unfair to, to compare these two lines. Obviously, the figure arts figure is way better. Um, you know, and they're not even really the same supposed to be the same style at all but I do think the figure arts version captured what it was going for a lot better than the uh, Playmates version did I mean the Playmates version is very cool for like a movie figure but you know it doesn't have any paint or anything cool like that and uh, yeah it's kind of generic you know they I think they've used this for like three different versions of the turtles I think for like one two and then the animated series so yeah you know uh, definitely the figure arts ones uh, you know went for the animated series version and it captured it perfectly so anyways, let's take a closer look at Leo here. And it's a very like simple sculpt, obviously, but it's like perfectly done. It's very, very nice. And uh, I really like the way the shell looks. Everything about this figure is perfect. I don't think, uh, you know, there's anything you could point out like, oh, this could have been better. That could have been better. It's a really, really good figure. And like I said before, this is soft plastic, so it really doesn't get in the way too much. And then the belt buckle here is uh, metal. And his upper legs are plastic, but the lower legs are metal, so you have no problem getting him to stand. And the feet are metal too, actually. And uh, yeah, it's really easy to get him to stand up. I like the fact that the pads cover up the joints really good. And uh, yeah, he's, he's cool, man. He's a really, really nice figure. There's, no, there's nothing I could really think that I don't like about it. It came out really, really good. And here's a quick look at Donnie, obviously. Everything's pretty much everything's the same except for the D on the belt buckle and the colors of the pads, obviously. But uh, yeah, again, it's a perfect sculpt. They did a really good job all the way around with, with these guys. I like the fact that he could hold his weapon really good. And here's a closer look at his smiley face. And they did a really good job on the head sculpts. They're obviously really uh, simple and things like that. It's not like it took a bunch of details or anything, but they nailed it perfectly for sure. And here's a look at the serious face. And here's a look at Leo's really angry face. And again, it's just perfect. And uh, there's a closer look at his uh, just casual face, I guess you'd say. But yeah, all the faces are perfect. And one thing I wanted to mention was that you got to be careful on the metal parts of the legs because the paint could chip and uh, then you'll kind of be screwed. Um, I know that the paint doesn't stick to metal as good as it, as it would plastic. And another thing I was kind of worried about was because it's metal mixed with plastic and stuff that the joints have become loose, but there's no signs of that so far, so that's pretty good.
So overall, I love these figures. I think SH Figure Arts did a, like a perfect job on the Turtles, and I really don't think anyone else is going to come along and make better Ninja Turtles figures based on the animated series. Um, I just don't see that happening because these things are just, they're pretty much as perfect. Um, the only thing I would have done differently was maybe given Donnie some kind of accessory that was like technology based or some kind of machine or something like that just because it fits his character. But, you know, pizza fits all, all the turtles, so it works out. Um, but yeah, these things are just perfect. And I don't really have that many Ninja Turtle figures, but um, yeah, like after having these, I really don't feel like I need any other Ninja Turtle figures. Um, I think I'll try to f finish off that uh, the Walmart exclusive classic set because those are the only two I found, which was uh, Leo and uh, Raphael. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I probably won't get any other turtle figures because, yeah, these things just, I mean, I don't think these things could be beat, honestly. These things are just dope. And I really can't wait for them to release Mikey and Raphael because they're all going to look so dope together. They're going to they're gonna look amazing when they're all posed together. And, uh, obviously, I can't wait for Shredder to come out because they need Shredder. But, um, yeah, he looks good, and I, I, bet, I bet he's going to be perfect just like these guys. Um, and I really hope that they announce some more figures from the show, like April O'Neil and Casey Jones and Splinter. Um, I think we need all those guys and Casey Jones. I, I think he would just make a really fun uh, Figure arts figure to pose and have a bunch of accessories I think they'd kill it with Casey Jones, but yeah, we'll see we'll see if they announce any of those guys that would be really cool though But uh, anyways, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to check out cooltoyreview.com I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, if you like the video, please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that cool stuff. Thank you very much. Peace